With the premiere of the Secret Invasion TV series, you may wonder, what was the story like in the comics? This is Exasperated Nerd Explains. First, a backdrop. When Secret Invasion came out, Steve Rogers' Captain America is dead, and the world of heroes is still divided from the comic book Civil War storyline, with some having signed the Registration Act, operating legally and reporting to the government, while others act as heroes but are technically illegal fugitives. Nick Fury has disappeared, Thor has been essentially absent for years, Norman Osborn aka the Green Goblin is leading the Thunderbolts, a government supervillain rehabilitation program, and Tony Stark is the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers. The Skrulls are also still shapeshifters, but have been able to duplicate various power sets of heroes for years, and have been at war with the Avengers or Fantastic Four almost constantly. The series begins with Elektra already dead, and at her death it was revealed she was a scroll, which had fooled all of the tech, heightened senses, and magic of the Avengers, completely undetectable and making heroes doubt each other. Tony Stark is revealing this to Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four and Hank Pym. At that point, he receives a call that a scroll ship is approaching Earth and headed towards the Savage Land, and that's when the attack begins, as he and other Avengers make their way there. An undercover scroll blows up the sword base, which is supposed to protect from extraterrestrial threats, with its director, Abigail Brand, on board. Tony Stark's butler as a scroll introduces a virus into Stark Tech, taking down Iron Man, crashing the helicarrier, opening up supervillain prisons, etc. A scroll goes into the Baxter building to take out most of the Fantastic Four. The ship that had previously crashed opens, revealing lots of superheroes, many of whom were dead in current continuity and others who were not. A scroll fleet arrives at Earth, and it's revealed that Hank Pym is actually a scroll in disguise and shoots Reed Richards. The heroes in the Savage Land face off, as one would expect, and in the melee it's revealed at least some of them are scrolls, but Bobby Morse, aka Mockingbird, gives Clint Barton, her husband, until her death, mostly known as Hawkeye, a convincing argument that she is real. The scroll army descends upon New York, Jarvis asks for the surrender of S.H.I.E.L.D. from Maria Hill, and it's revealed that Jessica Drew, aka Spider-Woman, is also a scroll. Not only that, but she is their leader and queen. She tries to convince Tony Stark that he is also a scroll and deep undercover. Then Nick Fury shows up in New York with a special team that he recruited and trusts to fight the scrolls. It's revealed Reed is being interrogated but still alive aboard a scroll ship. Nick Fury's team is unable to trust anyone but newer heroes, thinking others could still be infiltrated. Black Widow gets Tony Stark back on his feet, and Brand, the leader of S.W.O.R.D., gets onto a scroll ship. It goes back to Jarvis asking for surrender, which does not come. While the Hood, the current kingpin of crime, decides to help the heroes fight. While it's revealed that Thor and Bucky Barnes as Captain America are also on the move. Norman Osborn convinces a scroll that thought he was the deceased Captain Marvel, or Marvel, to go fight the scrolls. Meanwhile, the scrolls are sending out messages telling people to surrender and welcome the change. Brand fights through the scrolls on the ship and rescues Reed Richards. Shield doesn't surrender, and Maria Hill blows up the helicarrier. The heroes in the Savage Land are about to have another showdown when Reed Richards shows up with a newly created blaster that reveals who is and is not a scroll. Turns out everyone from the ship was a scroll. The Captain Marvel scroll dies, inspiring Novar, another Kree, to fight. While the scroll plan is falling apart, it is revealed that they do have a last resort. The heroes start to gather, including Thor and they face off against the Skrull army. Here there's a lot of fighting with the big splash pages and a lot of little character moments here and there within the fighting. The Watcher shows up since it is a notable event. 
Jarvis is left to care for Luke Cage and Jessica Jones's baby as she flies in to join the fight. Novar shows up and then the last resort is revealed to be the Wasp. She had been tricked by the scroll Hank Pym to use new Pym particles that actually acted as a biological weapon and she was destroyed. Jessica Drew, the Skrull Queen, is then killed by Norman Osborn. The Skrull fleet is destroyed, and it is revealed that the heroes who had been replaced were alive and aboard one of the ships. At this point, they realize that Jarvis acting as a babysitter was a Skrull and stole the baby, which is picked up in a later series. Other heroes are back, and the rest of the Fantastic Four is revealed to be okay, Tony Stark is given a stern talking to by Thor based on how he had been acting, and Norman Osborn steps into a role of great power, beginning a new era for the comics called Dark Reign, where he uses his power to create his own Avengers out of villains for his own gain and to harm his enemies. So yeah, kind of a different premise, and while Nick Fury has a large part and an important part, it's also very superhero heavy and themed. Plus, the scrolls in the MCU have a very different starting point relationship to the characters in the series compared to the years of history and conflict within the comics. Anyways, let me know what you thought of the show in the comments below and if you thought the comic book story sounds interesting. Please like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye.